Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Splinter Cell Conviction Episode 8, Part Number 2. In the previous part, we discreetly fought our way through the third echelon building's parking garage, planted some C4 on the building's power transformers, and then made our way upward in the elevator. So, what are we waiting for? Let's continue! For Sam, one thing third echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth... It was waiting for him. So now we'll walk through this unnecessarily large foyer and speak to the receptionist. Hey there, oh, my name is Sam- Oh, you shake that finger at me one more time and I'll break it off. Now, get off the phone, bitch! I need water. Shut up, Bear Grylls, you thirsty cunt! I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. And now with the two power generators out, we'll vault over this counter and immediately push ourselves up against this wall. We'll then use our cover to flank the guard inside this booth and take him out. <laughs> Fuck! Well, that guard was on the ball. Okay, let's try that again. Ali, I shot you once, Fisher, and I can shoot you again. Bang! Not this time, maggot. And now, of course, we'll smash through this door, head down the corridor, and beneath the closing security door. Now we need to be quick, because the final security door is closing, and we have two guards standing in our way. Fisher has got to be in this corridor somewhere. Yeah, I'd be careful if I were you. He might jump out when you least it. <laughs> G'day, fellas. Have a fucking bullet. And now we'll hastily make our way down the remainder of this corridor and slide under the last security door. And we're in. Now that we're inside, our primary objective is to meet up with Charlie Fryman in a room near the server room. So we'll head there first. We'll start by tailing this guard into this room and knock him the fuck out. <laughs> And now we'll race through this room, hop out of the window, and travel along the outer ledge before making our way back in the opposite side of the adjacent room. Here, we'll immediately jump onto this platform and make our way to the other side before dropping in on this patrolling guard. Sion thinks he can discreetly sneak up on people? Well, not me. I pride myself on having the most acute senses of every- uh -huh. Taste my boots of irony, cunt! And now with that guard unconscious, we'll focus our attention on the guard patrolling the perimeter. I have nothing. Oh yeah? Well, now you've got a fucking headache! Sweet dreams, princess. Not good. Big mistake, you dickhead. Well, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never- <laughs> But a wooden cabinet will smash your fucking face in. And now there's only one guard left in this area before we can move on, so we'll squat down beside this desk and hide in the darkness until he walks past. Piece of cake. Now, let's press on. So now we'll discreetly make our way down this corridor and jump up onto this platform. We'll now make our way to the other side and drop down on the unsuspecting guard below. I wish I could look up. <laughs> we'll then head through the nearest door and into the next room. Here we'll take a quick peek through this doorway and find two guards just chatting away. Now here you could take the stealthier approach and trigger an EMP before taking both guards out at the same time. Or you could throw stealth to the wind and throw a mine at their feet, equip the detonator, push the button and blow those motherfuckers sky. Oh, I fucking hide! Yeah. It's entirely up to you. Now would also be a good time to disable the surveillance camera as they are just quite frankly annoying as fuck. And now of course, as always, I still don't fucking use door handles! And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at our rendezvous point. Are you Fisher? Yes, it's me. Now give me the fucking goggles. In this brief rendezvous, Fryman issues Sam with a pair of ultra-high frequency sonar goggles. These goggles allow Sam to see enemies through walls as well as see laser grids hidden to the naked eye. The server room is then flooded with guards on the hunt for Sam, so now we're given the opportunity to try out Sam's new toy. So we'll immediately use the goggles to help us locate and mark some of the guards in this room so that we can keep track of them. 
We'll then wait for the guard directly in front of us to make his way past the first server before we go and get him. Ah, the wonders of modern day technology. How amazing. Oh yeah? Well if you love it so much, then fucking kiss it! Damn it! This was making noise! Oh, because we can't possibly have that now, can we? Now we'll head around the server room until we reach our next victim. Pika! Boom! That's two down and two to go. Come here, you stupid fuck! And now we have just one guard left in this area who seems to have left the server room, although he clearly stated that he heard a noise in there. Uh, uh, maybe Fisher is in the server room after all. Oh, e. And now we'll begin to backtrack back the way we came and head towards the entrance. But of course, we have some more guards that have come eagerly to be slaughtered. Like before, we'll use our sonar goggles to locate and mark these two hostiles before we cross the hallway and jump to higher ground. We'll then move along the ceiling until we're ready to strike. Geronimo! I wonder what's around this oh! Holy cow! Nope, it's just me, your good friend, Sam Fisher! This doesn't have to hurt too much. A holy cow would be a lot less subtle, don't you think? Okay, so it appears that there are two guards left, so let's mark them and begin our attack preparation. So, are we sure that Sam Fisher's coming from this direction? Positive. And what if he comes from above us? Huh, what kind of stupid question is that? Hey. I knew it! <laughs> and that clears this area, so let's keep moving toward our goal. In this next area, we have several guards with their sights set on where they believe Sam will appear. Let's throw them off, shall we? We'll use these desks as cover and weave throughout the office before jumping out the nearby ledge and moving to the next room. We'll then use the office ceiling to cross over the area undetected. Now at this point we could easily sneak past these guards without being seen, but their stupidity is crying for attention. According to my expansive knowledge of Fisher's behaviour, I'm absolutely certain that he'll use this brightly illuminated hallway. Fucking wrong! Haha, <laughs> the second that Sam comes around that corner, he's not gonna know what he- hey! <laughs> Hmm, well I'm beginning to suspect that maybe Sam Fisher is taking a different approach. Hey! Why, yes, I tend to Right? You're all fuckwits. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll head down this corridor, up these stairs, and make our way to Reed's office. Tune in next time to see the conclusion of the third echelon mission in which we run into an old friend.